In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today we join with the church to, uh, to um, celebrate the memorial of St. Charles uh, Borromeo, the, uh, the Cardinal of Milan in the 16th century, the founder of all seminaries, the uh, patrons of all the catechists and catechumens. We also pray for all the uh, also novimenas in our parish. We also pray for our country, for peace, for love, and for unity after the election. With those in mind, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves for the sacred mysteries. He was sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Best of years, in the midst of your people, we ask, O oh Lord, the spirit with which you feel the bishop San Joro Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed, and by conforming her soul to the likeness of Christ, may show his face to the world who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, by the grace given to me, I tell everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than one ought to think, but to think soberly, each according to the measure of faith that God has apportioned. For as in one body we have many parts, and all the parts do not have the same function, so we, though many, are one body in Christ, and individually parts of one another. Since we have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us exercise them. If prophecy, in proportion to the faith. If ministry, in ministering. If one is a teacher, in teaching. If one exhorts, in exhortation. If one contributes, in generosity. If one is over others, with diligence. If one does acts of mercy, with cheerfulness. Let love be sincere. Hate what is evil. Hold on to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Anticipate one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Endure in affliction. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the holy ones. Exercise hospitality, the word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm, forever I will sing the praise, wait a minute, forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever, I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn David to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. I have found David, my servant, with my holy oil I have anointed him, that my hand may always be with him, and that my arm may make him strong. 
My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say to me, he shall say of me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd laid down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and lifts the sheep and runs away. The wolf casts and scatters them. This is because his word for pay and have no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine and mine know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have over sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to the, this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice and there will be one flock, one shepherd. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord More than ever, we should listen and continue to reflect on the Gospel today as we not towards this picture um, to all the shepherds of the church, but the shepherds in our country as we just finished the, um, the election um, um, and we continue to wait for uh, the results. We need a good shepherd for our country. The good shepherd is not, um, is not a high man because the good shepherds concerned about their sheep, continue to sacrifice their sheep and do everything for the sheep gathered together in one, lock, one flock and one shepherd. May the Holy Spirit continue to guide the new president so that he can take care of all the people concerned about them and gather all of us in love, in unity, and in one country. Please stand. As we strive to live our life pleasing to the Father, let us joy together in faith to present our needs to him, that we, the body of Christ, may be strengthened and sacrificed by our reception of the sacraments. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in positions of authority may grow in charity and wisdom in serving their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those oppressed by poverty may find relief and comfort in the sanctuary of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those in our community who live in anger and separation from their families may have the grace of mutual healing and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may rejoice with all the angels and the communions of saints in the presence of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. And for the, all the special intention that we silently give in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. 
Heavenly Father, we place these needs before you, knowing that you always listen and answer our prayers through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruits of the earth and work of human hands, we become for us the breath of life. Bless are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruits of the vine and work of human hands we become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look, O Lord, upon the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Charles, and grant by the power of this sacrifice that, as you made him an attentive pastor, Outstanding in the merits of his virtues, so you may make us abound in good fruit by your works through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Live off your heart. Let give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Joel, you bite your church to rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the companies of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending now your spirit upon them like a dewfall that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child and once more given thanks. He gave his two disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have households worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Homely, we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, Timothy, Titan, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your feast. And most on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior command informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as they did in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days and by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we we'll await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Dear Jesus, come into my heart and be with me today. Sanitize your hand. Both of you.
Let us pray. May the sacred mystery of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determinations which may send Charles faithful in ministry and pervert in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Angel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snare of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. O do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowls about the world seeking the rules of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mass send it, let us go in peace. strength and protection for priests and religious.